This is Andrew Garner reporting from The Rock for NJ.com and NJ Advanced Media. And Seton Hall has just won a fist fight with George Washington, 58 to 54. It was a physical, hard fought game and ended when freshman Isaiah Whitehead didn't win it with a score, but won it by taking a charge, a very veteran move on Whitehead's part. George Washington came to play physical, but Seton Hall out physical them. Coach Kevin Willard said, you know, this is an important win, but the legitimacy issue, we're not worried about it. No, I mean, again, we're, we have Mount St. Mary's on Tuesday. Um, with a young group, only thing we're concentrating on is who we're playing next. Uh, you know, get ready for Mount St. Mary's. And if we do that, we continue to focus on defense and focus on doing the little things, like, you know, taking a charge at the end of the game, getting deflections, then that, all the other stuff will kind of handle itself. Um, we can't start looking at the fact that we're 5-0 and and this is great. We've got to look at the fact that we're 5-0 and and we have Mount St. Mary's coming ahead of us. Forward Brandon Mobley echoed Kevin Willard's sentiments and said, listen, we don't care about the rankings. We don't care about top 25. We care about one thing, getting the job done. We was picked six, rightfully so. You know, we, we didn't really prove much last year. We had a, a win against Villanova, but, you know, uh, like I say, so, I mean, we don't focus on that. We, we, we don't go out and practice with the girls on our shoulder. We practice to get better. We know who we are. So Seton Hall with a big win, in my mind, a legitimizing win over George Washington. They are 5-0, and and they look to be poised to be a real power in the Big East this year. This is Andrew Garter for NJ.com and NJ Advanced Media.